<laughs> hey! Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Short stream. I'm a little buzzed. Hey, what the fuck? It's the breaker. Oh, it's on the way the fuck up. God damn it. God damn it. <sighs> it's fine. Hopefully I can get back to Elbley tomorrow. We're right at the end of the game. Silent Hill Wednesday. Probably start Layers of Fear soon. And I gotta finish off all the other shit. Default temp. Oh. It's actually a little warm. It's a little, a little, a little toasty. I know it's not, the breaker's not in here, but you know, fuck it. Why not? Let's, uh. No, it's, it's a little toasty. God help me. When these devs introduce dynamic weather. It's not in there. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna go for about like an hour. Same with all the other short fast streams. It is just to keep the streak alive. Incidentally, that is also what is going to be happening on Friday. It'll be a late night fast stream like around midnight just in case I can't actually stream during the day because I'm finally moving back to my house out of the rental it is done internet's supposed to be set up Thursday morning so hypothetically you know I just gotta cart everything from the rental, hook it up, and, uh, should be good to go. But just in case, I'm still disappointed that my family is deciding to stick with Spectrum. Geronimo Rex, he was Jerry Geronimo. He was the jeeriest jeer in all the jeer. Jeers for fears. How's it going, jeer? Get some sleep. I oh, know it's like super late for you. Go to bed. Stop having insomnia. Also added a new extra life incentive, where I will make an ass out of myself in karaoke, but with a different song than normal. Not Bakametai. Not Poets of the Fall. And then also there's still, uh, you know. Last of Us Left Behind, and, um, Last of Us 2 as incentives. So if for some reason you're like, jeer, I want to see me suffer through shit that I worked on, and talk shit. <clears throat> I wish that was the case. Year. Like not even not even joking. 
Jir. Uh, I might have mentioned this before. Uh, I don't know. I'm firmly in camp The Last of Us does not slash did not need a sequel. There is a giant asterisk next to it where if you were to make a sequel to The Last of Us, the best way to do it, in my humble opinion, would be to have a completely unrelated story about a completely unrelated group of people from the first game. And just world build. Different plot, different characters, different part of the world. As opposed to just making it a Joel and Ellie franchise, or I guess in The Last of Us 2's case, an Ellie franchise. Like, I want to see what Europe is like in Cordyceps. Or another part of the U.S. Or South America. Or Asia. Or, or whatever, right? Make it an anthology. Kind of like the uh, Romero Dead series, you know? Or in video game logic, Silent Hill. That way, you could keep things pretty fresh and also not ruin the lovely ambiguity that the ending of The Last of Us had, which is uh, honestly my biggest issue with The Last of Us 2, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, I may be incredibly sick of The Last of Us as a whole, and I may think that The Last of Us is pretty fucking overrated at this point, and I'm sick of hearing about it. However, credit where credit is due, I love the fact that The Last of Us ends with ambiguity in regards to whether or not Ellie believes Joel or not. Oh, it's cold as shit in here. This might... Might be a hallway ghost, but it could also be a room. I think it's a hallway ghost. That's two. Twelve point nine in there. All right, I'm just gonna assume it's a hallway ghost and uh, be very angry. <coughs> Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> one of my biggest complaints with The Last of Us Part 2 is that it gives us a definitive answer to that ambiguity. And it retroactively ruins the ending of The Last of Us for me. Because now we know definitively how Ellie felt when she said okay. Sometimes ambiguity is the best possible thing. Uh, and not answering is an amazing thing. It's why, for me personally, I never want to see a direct sequel to Silent Hill 2 under any circumstances. I like the idea that any ending in Silent Hill 2 could be canon, and a direct sequel to Silent Hill 2 would more or less, most likely, ruin that ambiguity as to which ending is the canon ending. I love the fact that there is no definitive canon ending in Silent Hill 2. And if you were to make a sequel to it, you'd be an asshole, in my opinion. The upcoming movie is a Silent Hill 2 adaptation, yes. Uh, I'm not necessarily thrilled about it, but honestly, Jir, from the little I've seen of that Silent Hill 2 movie from, like, the promo shit, it... <laughs> Looks like it might be a better adaptation of Silent Hill 2 than the fucking remake. 
Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't hate the first Silent Hill movie either. I, I actually quite like the first Silent Hill movie. I think it is one of the better video game adaptations. It has its issues for sure. Uh, namely, for me, uh, like I, I don't quite like the change to the cult. Um, oh my God! Biggie, wiggy, wiggy. Big, how was Signalis? How was your addiction to that, that, that silly little horror game? I still need to play it. How was your stream? Welcome on in Raiders. I'm James, also known as Saber0307. Uh, I'm just doing a Faz stream, and uh, I was talking with Jir about ambiguity in video games and the Silent Hill movies. Hey, GG on sub 57. Tommy Two Stoned. Welcome on in. Uh, but yeah, like the, that first Silent Hill movie, I, I think it's, 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 it's not bad. It's pretty good. I just don't like the change to the cult. I think the changes to the cult makes it more generic. And I guess, I guess it's more palatable to an average viewer, but I, I don't like it. Uh, and I remember I saw Revelation 3D in theaters, and I was like, "Yeah, this isn't too bad." And then I rewatched it a couple years ago, and I was like, "Oh, man, this is this is this is dog shit." But it did it did it did lead to some good memes when I rewatched it with Lee and Cat. Uh, <laughs> namely about Kit Harrington. <laughs> Please pet my daughter, Wolf. Saru, how's it going, dude? But congrats again on the sub-57, Biggie. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. Excuse me? Really? Oh, hello. Five? No, that's a three. Go big mode, you fuck! Sign my book. Asshole. Oh, we're so close to freezing. In other news, though... Hey, we have freezing. I have finally seen Unfriended, and it was a piece of shit. But I also saw Chopping Mall, and it was wonderful. And then I also saw, saw Kathy's Curse, which is mixed. But it does have the best goddamn line in a movie, and it occurs 45 seconds into the movie. Gino! Hey, how's it going, dude? Yeah, Gino was there. Gino knows how bad Unfriended was. Nothing fucking happened, and the characters were insufferable assholes. But Unfriended did re uh, result in searching. So I'm happy about that. Searching is a great movie, if you haven't seen it, chat. It's with John Cho. And it's about a man looking for his daughter who is missing. And the entire film is basically like... It's, it, I believe the genre at this point is called screen life. So, like, the entire film is shot as though it's through, like, a computer monitor. So it's, like, you know, like, through webcams and stuff like that. Like, Skype stuff and all that fun shit. And Searching is a much better movie by a country mile. Granted, that is not saying much given how bad Unfriended is, but still... Uh, and then Shopping Mall is all, all thriller, no filler, baby. It was wonderful. You signed my book? Hey. Revenant Shade, Demon, or Moron. Great. It could be a demon. I'm not happy that it's, it might be a hallway demon, chat. I may be looking at a hallway demon. 
Where's that? I think we can rule out Finky Winkies. So that would rule out a demon. What do we got here? EMF would be a shade. No dots. Ghost Orb is Rev. Spirit Box is a moron. Alright. Fuck you. I may have to... Yeah, you know what? I think the, the, the safest, and by safest I mean... Uh, easiest option. Is to piss it off and see it, see what we can get with a hunt. Uh, but I may die. I may get my ass eaten. So if that happens. Big, if I get my ass eaten, make sure to tell Renzi I said hello. Let's get a camera. Also, I don't even know what the curse possession is. Danka. What do we got? 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 I think I'm also gonna look into installing old Faz. And get that working. We have a Waluigi board. Okay, this is actually pretty good. The reason for this is we can kind of brute force sanity lowering without going to ham. Slugma redacted! No worries. Thank you for stopping by and joining the raid. Uh, let's see here. We got that. We got that. Uh, I do not need camera. Wait a minute, no, I need a slot for the fucking, the Waluigi board, okay. Oh, what am I doing? No, I need, I, I'm gonna need a fucking, okay. I need that flashlight. Alright, it's fine. Uh, and I actually, fuck, I already forgot what my sanity was. I know it wasn't super low. A moron, I think, is 50? I know Shade is 35. And Rev is, Rev is, Rev is 50, for sure. Phasmophobia. Fun. Uh, is a moron. Uh, moron is 50, okay. I guess... No, I should get that camera. I'm, 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 I'm really scatterbrained right now. In regards to the best way to approach this. I want to be able to hear the ghost. If and when it hunts. But... Where the fuck did I put that camera? Oh, I think they're in the truck. Because if it's a rev, I'll know. That's the main thing, is I want to know if it's a rev. Yeah, there it is. Uh, 78. Or 8. I'll just round it up to 80. Uh. I think 7 questions. 7 should do it. All oh, right, hold on. I gotta fucking actually open my mic. Uh, no. There we go. What is it? Knock, knock. Marco. 
Knock, knock. Three. Marco. Four. Knock, knock. Five. Marco. Knock, knock. Goodbye. I think it tried to hunt. What are we at? Four. Okay, we did it a little too much, but that's fine. Because uh, if it did indeed try to hunt... It's not a shade, so we got it down to Moron and Rev. <clears throat> Spooky. Probably gonna get my ass eaten. The only consolation that might have been a double hunt. Already? Don't you eat my ass. It's throwing shit. For the meme, I'm guessing Rev, but, you know, we'll see. It sounds slow. It's a Revy boy. It sounds normal speed. It's a moron. It still hypothetically could be a demon, but I have not seen any fingies. Also, if it is a demon, it's a pussy ass bitch demon. Yeah, it's a rev. <laughs> Don't you eat my ass! Stay the fuck away from me. Oh, wait. You see how- you hear how slow that is, chat? That's how you know it's a rev. Stop. Thank you. Fucking asshole. It's my candle. Hopefully, that bought me some time. <sighs> We're 
We're full on foot. Yeah. All right. Good. <laughs> Anyways, Kino, I'm sure you can't wait for uh, Unfriended 2 Dark Web. <laughs> uh, I hear it's better. It's still not good, but I hear it's like mildly better. At least the characters are kind of more likable. That, that's toxic. That's that's really toxic, Gino. That might be the most toxic thing you've ever said. Although I still think they should make an unfriended three and call it unfriended three unfriend harder. Seru, go to bed. And get some memes. Thank you for stopping by. Cerulean. Thirteen point four. Oh my God, we got a we got a we got a rib cage. Thirteen point six. You have a good night too, Sarah. We got the monkey's paw. I have not checked the basement yet. Oh. Granted, it's still the front of the house, but... This ghost is being a quiet little mouse. Quiet little baby boy. Foyer. Oh, yeah, there we go. Boys room. No, 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 Kappa Kappa. No, 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 Let's go. Hey, G G G G Neo. Like hey, fuck you. Playing death, 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 death. Your radio sucks. Six point nine. Oh, EMF to you, pussy. Well, hopefully, Gino, you like next week's films more. I haven't seen them, so I can't comment on them, but I'm actually very excited because, as far as I'm aware, they are so bad they're good films. Very funny, bad movies. Filled with. Kung Fu and horror and blood and whatnot. They are Len Kabazinski movies. <gasps> oh fuck. Uh let me get a camera. Tell me it didn't disappear. Okay, good. Team of three. Oh, good shit.
I'm dying. I might also, this, this would be well off in the future, Gino. I might also do something similar to the wheel, but it'll be for uh, uh, childhood trauma films, like movies that uh, we found to be terrifying or, or horrifying or, or, or too spooky as, as we baby, baby boys and girls and whatnot. I already have my selection picked out. It's not arachnophobia. MF5. God damn you! Go big mode! Fucking coward! I should turn off that light. Wait a minute, it turned on the light. Uh, no, it cannot be a mirror. What a playful little scamp. Oh, stop touching shit. You saw my book now. Stop it. stubborn dick oh hello oh goodness me oh shit my dick dude what the fuck what's my sanity did I let it get too low or is that an early hunter uh, oh 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 could be a demon uh, not a myling, not no bake, Creo. I'm pretty sure all of those. I think it's just a demon or a mimic. Let me double check. Uh, Dejan is 40. I don't know what standard means. Maybe it hypothetically could be a banshee. I don't think so. It's not a mare. Not an Onryo. We don't have that. Not a Raju. Shade's too low and it's not on the list. Okay, yeah, I think I think it's just gonna be a demon or a banshee and a mimic. Interessante. What a slutty ass ghost chat. Uh, ghost riding would be demon. And freezing temps would be demon. Well, let's get an extra bit of Jesus in there. Oh, there's the writing. It hurts, huh? Well, have you tried not being an asshole? Oh, yeah, it has to be a demon. Yeah, there's the phrasing. Alright, let's get out of here. We don't have a photo of a ghost, but it's fine. Who cares? <clears throat> I don't need the parabolic.
What a spicy little demonic boy. What's Edge? Garage. Oh good, we got a boner already. Of course, it is snowing, so no early warmth check. Everything's gonna be cold as dicks everywhere. Yeah, it's 7.6. What is it outside? Yeah, it's about the same. Okay. Just gonna throw all that shit in there. You throwing shit, you you what the fuck was that? Oh, it's just a this point. Hey, there we go. Oh, what the fuck? You're a sexy garage ghost, huh? Well, there's a 3.3 here. I never put the book down because I'm an idiot. Yeah? Why aren't the, the ghosty leaves fingy wingies on the piano bueno? So, Jir, go to sleep. It's not on the other side of the fucking house. <clears throat> in the door. No finky wingies. change rooms? It did change rooms. What a prick. <sighs> Count? Yeah, get fucked, you smelly asshole. I 
think we can mark off thingy wingies. Also, oh, I don't think so. It is so close to freezing, god damn it. Thank you. I had to pop Tylenol or Advil for my wrist. It's throwing shit. That's cute. Oh, I had the spirit box. That's why. Sign my book, asshole. Okay, it's being an asshole. The spirit box is a really stupid, annoying device that al allegedly, allegedly, Kali, how's it going, dude? Uh, allows you to communicate with spooky ghosts. Uh, it basically cycles through radio frequencies. And allegedly, it's not supposed to pick up the actual radio. And it cycles through these frequencies, frequencies uh, rapidly. Yeah, and it's supposed to allow the ghost to answer you. Yes, it's effectively a pocket radio that's busted and just rapidly cycles through frequencies. It's a very, very silly device. Yeah, hey, how's it going, dude? Yeah, yeah, they've been uh, they've been doing that for a while. Uh, I don't know, and that's not even the most ridiculous uh, feature. That's the that's not even the most like ridiculous uh, ghost hunting item. There, Jer. Uh, I think it's an ovulus, is what it's called, where basically it's 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 a device that allows the ghost to send you text messages. It's really dumb. Talia, how is how's your night doing? How's your weekend doing? We missed you yesterday. You missed some dog shit. Oh no. It's even dumber than a pager. Oh, it kicked my book. That means it's not writing. That's right. Internet's been down. Listen here, Internet. Well, just so you can catch up. <clears throat> Call him. Just so you know. Uh, unfriended is dog shit. Chop. Yeah, hey, how's it going, dude? Uh, chopping mall. Bro, really? This thing is pissy. I want to say it's a Jenner and Oni. Um... Shopping mall is a banger. And Kathy's curse has moments of brilliance mixed with a lot of, uh, oh, hey, we got dots. Mixed with a lot of dog shit. 
It's a Yurei and an Oni. I want to say it's probably an Oni. Why the fuck he, does he keep finding this shit? Bro, really? This thing is hyper aggressive. It's got to be an Oni, right? Uh, EMF is Oni, not Ultraviolet. Ghost Orbs is Yurei. Won't be Spirit Box. I could probably leave and just say it's a fucking Oni. In fact, that's probably what I should do. Although, Kalia, Kathy's Curse does have, quite possibly, the single greatest line in a movie. The single greatest line delivery in a movie of all time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with that scene, Matt. In fact, I'm going to risk it. Right before we do the last few contracts in celebration of an Oni and see so you can catch up, Kalia. Chad, are you ready? Kalia, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, Kalia? This is arguably the single greatest line delivery in et complete with editing in movie history. You don't need any context. All you need to know is this happens about 45 seconds into the movie. Yeah, that sounds about right. It does that. Um... There we go. All right. Are you ready? All right, good. Where's your mother and your brother? Mommy's gone. She's taking George with her. Your mother's a bitch. Perfect. Perfect. No notes. Perfect. The, 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 the editing in that is just chef's kiss. Your mother's a bitch. That's the first dialogue exchange of the fucking movie, too, Kalia. Some dude drives home and goes inside and is like, hey, yo, where's your mom? And then the daughter's like, oh, mom's got, gone and she took Georgie. And then he's just like, your mother's a bitch. It's it's the highlight of the movie and it happens 45 seconds in. It's delightful. And just combine the fact that he was like crouched down and then just hard cut to him standing. It's delightful. Uh, but Chopping Mall, Kalia, you would like. It's all killer. No filler. It's about a bunch of teenagers who sneak into a shopping mall after hours so they could, like, you know, drink booze and have sex. So, you know, the movie's got copious amounts of nudity in it, which is, which is always a good thing. <clears throat> and then... Uh, the mall just so happens to have installed these new security robots, Kalia. Security robots. Uh, and a lightning storm happens, Kalia. And the lightning hits, like, the robot, like, control unit box, and it causes them to malfunction. And now the security robots are killing everyone who's in the store. It's, it is delightful. It is a wonderful little movie. And it's only 76 minutes, Kalia. It is a fast watch. So watch it. 
Get some friends, or even just watch it on your own. If you like fun movies, with fu fun fun horror movies with nudity and violence, watch Chopping Wall. <clears throat> it's like genuinely, it's genuinely a lot of fun. I I I had a blast watching it. It also has. One of the best head explosions I've ever seen. It's possibly not the best. The the best is either probably Maniac or Scanners. But it's definitely up there. Scanners is Scanners head explosion is so fucking good. Maniacs though is a real close second, if not tied. It's it's up there. I'm talking about the original, uh, the original 80s Maniac. <clears throat> Although, uh, in terms of watchability, the, uh, the remake of Maniac is a much better movie. Scanners is, is, is very uncomfortable to watch. It's been a long, long, long time since I've seen it. I might add it as, as part of the poll thing, along with, uh, along with Maniac, the remake of Maniac. Oh, it's in the kitchen. The remake of Maniac is unique if you haven't seen it. It actually has Elijah Wood as the lead, a.k.a. the serial killer. And the gimmick with the the remake of Maniac with Elijah Wood <clears throat> is the entire movie is shot from his perspective. So the entire movie is in first person, basically. And it makes the stalking films and the, 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 the slasher sequences all the more disturbing and, 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 and uncomfortable because you're watching it from his perspective. It's pretty intense. It's a great goddamn movie. It was really fucked up. And Elijah Wood does a very, very good job of making you empathize, or at least understand, the killer. Like, he does a very, very good job with the role. Highly recommend that as well, Kalia. And I might put that on the viewer's choice thing. I still gotta settle that, but, I mean, you know, that's not gonna be till November. <coughs> I don't know if I've seen Screamers. I think I've heard of it. I don't know. Uh, can you toss that into Goonf Goonflick's uh, recommendations, Por favor, Jir? So I remember it, because right now I'm a little buzzed. I probably won't actually remember uh, to throw it in there. One point there. Well, we got writing, but I wish I had a camera. It's fine. I did have a camera in there. Fuck! Who, who the fuck reading? Readings for nerds, Gino. I mean, it is. All the cool kids know this. Danka! Danka, uh, sir. Oh, and it has Peter Weller. Ooh. I do like Peter Weller. I don't know if you've seen it. I did show it in the Discord already. I might show it again. Because everybody liked it. Have you seen Dog Soldiers? 
If not, you should really watch Dog Soldiers. Same with you, Kalia. Watch Dog Soldiers. Dog Soldiers. D-O-G Soldiers. Good. You've seen it? Perfect. Fantastic. Well, anybody in the disc, anybody in chat right now, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's great. The fiery. Got a spirit box. Don't breathe in my asshole. Could be a moron. <laughs> yeah, Jira, if it's never, if, if it's not like too late for you, you know, you're always welcome to join us for a ghoul flex. It's every Saturday night in the Discord at 8 p.m. Pacific. And uh, until the end of the year, we're doing nothing but spooky movies. All spooky movies all the time, Jir. Some good, some bad. That was Dodds. Oh, good, it's a G-Gen. <sighs> like this Saturday, we're going to be watching some Len Kabazinski movies, which are hopefully so bad they're good horror movies. Or at least very charmingly bad, and not infuriatingly bad. I don't- I have two in there. It's fine. We're doing Curse of the Wolf. And Fist of the Vampire Jeer. And I believe next week. We're watching uh, the new Salem's Lot remake, which uh, I have no idea if it's good or not. I'm expecting it to be dog shit, but I would love to be wrong. And uh, Maximum Overdrive. So it's a Stephen King double feature there, Jeer. Wait for me. Of course, now that I have a camera out, this piece of shit is not, not showing up on dots. Appreciate the offer, as in, like, uh, you won't show up, or, or you might consider it one day. The offer applies to also everybody who's in the Discord. You're more than welcome to pop in for Ghoul Flicks or Goon Flicks. Yeah, I enjoyed Maximum Overdrive, too. I think it's dog shit, but still. It's it's lovely dog shit. It's fun. Well, if you ever can pop in, you don't have to commit to anything. 
can even pop in for like 10, 15 minutes. I realize that it's difficult for, for East Coasters and whatnot. I try to accommodate the best I can. Come on, take a... Show up! Then we're going to be watching uh, The Haunting of Hill House as well throughout the month of October and November. And a few people haven't seen that yet. But also to like like even it out, I'm I'm every night that we're watching The Haunting of Hill House, we're watching dog shit along with it. Stuff like House of the Dead. Or the Curse of La Llorona. I haven't seen that of the comment, but I was par I was pairing Maximum Overdrive with um, the Salem's Lot remake that is coming out in a couple weeks. Oh, you piece of! Did I get it? Fuck! That I fully expect to be dog shit. Uh, because Salem's Lot is my second favorite Stephen King adaptation. Uh, our second favorite Stephen King story, and uh, I fully expect Hollywood to fuck it up, especially given the fact that uh, the uh, writer-director is a hack. Yeah! Yeah, Warner Brothers decided to remake it. Hey, there we go. And the late the late seventies Salem's Lot is actually really good. I mean, it's toned down because it was made for TV, but it's still really good. Like genuinely, really good. Yeah, there's. Uh, check out the trailer for it. See what you think. Just know that the guy who was writing and directing it is responsible for the Annabelle trilogy. So. My expectations for a good movie are very, 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 very low. We got time for one more. There's also the mid 2000s uh, miniseries of Salem's Lot, which uh, I used to like. And then I rewatched it a few, uh, like last year, and I wasn't that big of a fan of it. But the 1970s one still holds up remarkably well. Despite the fact that it's made for TV, so it's. A lot of the material has been toned down. So they made the vampire into a Nosferatu instead of, uh, instead of a typical vampire. So it looks like uh, Count Orlok from the, uh, the original Nosferatu. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. Speaking of which, I'm actually uh, really looking forward to the. Uh, Nosferatu remake by Robert Eggers. I actually still haven't seen any of Robert Eggers' stuff. I've been meaning to, I just haven't gotten around to it. But his remake looks sick. Yeah, he also he all yeah, yeah, he he also did the two it it it's Gary Doberman. Yeah, he's a hack. I hate him. We've arrived. Check the equipment and get sent up before I thought It Chapter 1 was fine. It had a lot of stupid, large, loud jump scares that annoyed the fuck out of me. But ultimately, the movie was better than it should have been. And then I hated It Chapter 2. Yep, he did the Annabelle trilogy. 
and he created the nun. I thought the nun was better than it had any right to be, but it was also not very good. My biggest issue with the nun is uh, the 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 priest character is is way more interesting than anything else within the nun. It's going straight to Max, Jeer, so if you have Max, you'll be able to watch it. It's not a completely terrible trailer, but you know, I don't I don't trust it still. The Nosferatu trailer, though, uh, looks incredible. And also, Robert Edgar's, by all accounts, is an exceptionally talented filmmaker, so I am very optimistic for his adaptation of Nosferatu. Might be the utility room. So far, that's the coldest room. Nope, it's the living room. What, Salem's Lot? It's not going to theaters, Cheer. It's going straight to HBO Max. So, October 3rd? Uh, it's straight up on Max, baby. Why the f- Yeah, I know you're there. Oh, is it the food at all? That's why we're watching it in the Discord in two weeks. I haven't seen a movie in theaters in a god god knows how fucking long at this point. And I certainly would not go to the theaters to watch fucking Salem's Lot by Gary Doberman. I would love to be wrong. I genuinely hope I'm wrong, and I, I, I hope that it is a good horror movie. But, uh... My, my expectations are not high. I'll find out in two weeks. Yeah, it's uh, Skarsgård, who's Nosferatu. Are you aware of Shadow of the Vampire, though, uh, Jir? I'm assuming you are. Uh, if you're not... <laughs> if you're not familiar with Shadow of the Vampire, Jir... Uh... That will scratch the Willem Dafoe as... Jesus. Piece of shit! Okay, good. Then, then, yeah. He was... And John Malkovich. It's a great fucking cast. That's also on my uh, list of uh, stuff. Show in the Discord. But I might just wait and not do it on the viewer's choice thing and save it for when Nosferatu hits streaming or hits digital so that way I can do a double feature of Shadow of the Vampire and Nosferatu 
I think that would be fun. Especially given the fact that, you know, Willem Dafoe is in both Shadow of the Vampire and Nosferatu 2024. They're also apparently remaking the Dark Half, Jir. Forgot who's directing it, but I remember I was unimpressed. Uh, fuck. Because uh, the Dark Half is actually my favorite Stephen King story. So am I. Ninety percent. Fuck me. Ninety ninety nine point nine percent of the time, the remake is superfluous and unnecessary, uh, and is uninteresting. There's one... Yeah, there's a very, very, very short list of remakes that are better than the original. Very few. Um, or even very few remakes that are just even good in general. Uh, there is one dream remake I have, even though I love the original film to bits. Uh, and it's just because I think concept-wise, it would make a lot of sense and it could be a lot of fun. And that's uh, a remake of Theater of Blood. I don't know if you've seen that, Jir. Okay, a Banshee Hantu Obakan uh, mimic. Theater of Blood is like this 1970s horror film starring Vincent Price. And... The premise, the basic idea, is that uh, Vincent Price's character is like a failed play actor. Oh, who could step into the shoes of Vincent Price? That's that's actually the only the the I because I already have that cast. I already have that fan cast in my head as the who. Love him or hate him, Kenneth Branagh. Because of his Shakespearean background, I think would be a fun villain in a remake of Theater of Blood. It's the only reason why I would want to see a remake of Theater of Blood, is if you were to get Kenneth Branagh as the villain. I'm fine if it's, you know, with his hammy ass laugh. Oh, you mean Price's laugh. I mean, you can't recreate Price's laugh. It's, that's fair. But, still. <gasps> did I get it? I did. You can't recreate it. 100% fair. So you just gotta do a different... A different interpretation to avoid comparison. To bring something different to the table. Fuck AI. AI can eat my ass. If AI is involved in a movie, I, I genuinely don't want to see it. I, I'm even at the point where uh, I, I have no interest or minimal interest in seeing... Um, Uh, a movie if they digitally recreate an actor a la Rogue One that's uh, one of the chief reasons why I have I, I lost most interest in seeing Alien Romulus I don't, I don't, I don't care that they got Ian Holmes' state's permission. 
I don't like digital grave robbing. I think it's fucked up. Not to mention from what I have read of the, the, the narrative of uh, Romulus. They had a better answer staring at them right in the face. That could be cool. Something wicked wi this way comes could also be a good... A good remake. Maybe. Imatha. Imatha. Uh... It's an obeg. We'll do one more, just so I can keep the conversation going a little longer. I am actually also looking forward to the Lee Whannell remake of The Wolfman, even though it looks to be nothing like The Wolfman. Because I liked uh, Upgrade and I liked his adaptation of The Invisible Man. And The Wolfman is also my favorite Universal movie monster. All right, this is the last investigation. Jack Johnson. Okay. And then we're dipping. Creature from the Black Lagoon's a solid choice. I have been a huge fan of the Wolfman since I was a wee baby boy. My early media diet consisted of Godzilla movies, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Universal Monster movies, ever since I was three. And I have always, always been a fan of the Wolfman. I haven't seen any of the modern TMNT movies. Uh, I, I had very little interest in the Michael Bay ones, and I kind of have no interest in that animated one. I know a lot of people liked it, but it, it just looked really cringe. <sighs> Granted, you one could argue that it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so... There's bound to be some cringe, but... It just, it just, it felt too Marvel-y with everybody just talking nonstop and the voice acting felt stilted and just too many celebrity cameo voice actors. It's just like, this ain't for me. I have seen one clip of the Michael Bay, the first Michael Bay produced TMNT that I thought was quite charming, but the rest of the movie seems incredibly insufferable, so I have no interest in it. I, I still adore that first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Uh, Secret of the Ooze is hardcore nostalgia that used to be my favorite as a kid. Uh, but you know, upon rewatching it as an adult, it's like, yeah, all right, this is this is this is kind of a bad movie. It's charming, but it's kind of bad. Uh, we don't talk about part three. <laughs> yeah, the, fir the first live action is, is actually in my uh, top ten favorite films of all time. Uh, it's entirely uh, probable that it's mostly because of nostalgia, but I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, Holmes. 
Oh, and the uh, the animated the 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 first animated TMNT film, TMNT uh, from like the mid two thousands. That was that was all right. It had its issues, but it's all right. It's all right. Pizza dudes got thirty seconds. Jir, you love Pizza Hut. I I haven't actually had Pizza Hut in years either. Usually, if I go for trashy fast food pizza, I just go with Domino's. Because they have decent deals. Yeah, hey, how's it going? Do I have a photo of you? No, fuck, that, that was a good time to get a photo. Well, then I kind of want to have Pizza Hut. But I gotta wait until next Monday. The what day is that? September thirtieth. Gonna get paid. Food in general in my area is very expensive, which is why I generally go with Domino's because they have deals that are make it somewhat manageable. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's 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 pretty it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I got your dick shot. Fuck you. And this thing is pissy. Yeah, it's 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 really it's really silly. It's really egregious. The markups that they do. only have the EMF-5. Oh, I don't have any... I, I'm a fucking big stupid asshole dumbass. It's like, hey, remember when McDonald's used to be considered cheap food? Now it's like, expensive as shit? Remember the dollar menu? Remember when tacos from Taco Bell were like 79 cents? That's like two bucks for a single tiny ass taco. Even Little Caesars, which is kind of like the jankiest pizza in my area of, of the fast food pizza, is, is jacked up in price. Those were the days! That would be great. I mean, that sounds about right. Fucking a dollar double cheeseburger, Kalia? Dollar menu, period, yeah. change rooms. Piece of shit.
Yup. Yeah, the the prices the prices in car, at at at, uh, at Colonel's Junior are are fucking comical at this point, my guy. Holy shit. shame because Carl's is actually my favorite of the uh, the fast food places Carl's and Wendy's I would include in and out but in and out also does not fucking do delivery so oh hello oh wait no we already had that didn't we yeah and I don't want to fucking wait 79 years in line oh yeah the $60 burger It's fucking asinine. Fuck you and your fake hunt. I'd believe it. I haven't been to five guys in a long, 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 long time. Most of these fast food places are completely off their rocker. They're just charging obscene, disgusting amounts of amounts for super, 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 super barely anything. It's like a double quarter pounder with cheese at McDonald's meal is like 14 bucks. And that's ch cheap by modern standards. Which is absurd. It also depends on the McDonald's you go to. Guy, can you get out of here? Sign my book. Because I, I have, I've actually noticed if you're like using Grubhub, some McDonald's or some places actually charge more money than other places. Like, it's the same franchise. It's really stupid. I don't understand it. Could be a Gorio. Seems way too active to be a shade, though. Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, I remember, I think it was like 10, 10 some odd years ago. Like a double cheeseburger at Wendy's was like two bucks, and like a junior bacon cheeseburger was like a buck fifty. And now, now, now uh, a junior uh, double double cheeseburger at Wendy's is like, or double stack is what they call them, uh, is like four bucks. And it's like Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Yeah, it's pricey, ain't it? Like seven bucks for a single, six seven bucks for a single sandwich. It's 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 pretty redunk. Yeah, that sounds about right. This ghost is being cunt, and I don't like it. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. I too wish life was affordable. All this talk is making me hungry, but I have no money. I can't believe we only fucking have EMF. I want to say it's a gin. Wait, it cannot be a wraith. It's depth and salt. We know this. Be honest, I, I would hate to. S oh, it it hundred percent kicked that book, so it's not ghostwriting. Uh. Okay, Jin Oni Gorio twins Obake Raiju. I wonder. Twenty. Just gonna do a quick sweep of every other goddamn room. I think I've been jabated. I think it's the twins. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna guess twins and then get out. <laughs> I'm gonna make some regrettable life decisions. Oh no, it was on only. Whatever, it's fun. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, anyways, Big Scared, thank you again for the raid. And thank you all for stopping by. I should be back tomorrow with uh, something. Hopefully, I'll bleed. Uh, streams are going to be a bit weird as I'm trying to pack for the move. Um, uh... There we go. I'm going to send y'all on over to Alan, who is doing some Final Fantasy VII Remake. So y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be excellent to each other. And I'll catch y'all on the next stream. Ta-ta. Goodbye. Farewell. Mm -hmm.